so this sounds kind of silly, but I was, I was born and raised in America, and my mother and father are from Kenya, but I always knew that other countries and other cultures and other ways of life existed, because obviously they exist, but I never really appreciated the fact that there's so much, so much else happening in the world outside the bubble that is America. And I mean, considering my mom and dad are, were not born or raised in America, you would think that I would know that growing up, but it just, you, you really get locked into the bubble you're in depending on where you were born and raised. And I, I, if I could implore anyone to do anything, it is to really get outside of your comfort zone and recognize that the world is huge and full of all kinds of people and all kinds of cultures and all kinds of ways of life that may not necessarily agree with one another, but they work in their own way. And, and that's okay. And that difference and that diversity is completely okay. The best advice I have received is probably that in many regards life is an attitude. Basically, things happen and it's not, it's not that things happen, but it's how we respond to them. So I think if you come upon a situation and you come upon it looking for the best in the situation, you're bound to find the best in the situation. If you're put in a position where you, or if you, you go into a situation and you're looking for the worst in the situation, I think you're bound to find the worst in the situation. So to relate that to Japan, I think having come to Japan, I had, I had zero expectations. I had neither positive nor negative expectations about Japan. I just kind of wanted to see a different country. And I think I have actively, since the day I got here, looked for the positive in Japan. Thus, I've loved my experience in Japan and I've tried to make the most of it and, and all those other things that have fallen. I think if I'd come here with different expectations or with a pessimistic point of view, my experience in Japan would be completely different. So I'd be looking for the negative things, or I'd be looking for the, the things to complain about, but that's not really my personality. So I think that advice in itself, that life is an attitude, is probably the best advice I've received. Yeah.